morning. We are the Nichols family. I am Leslie. And you are? Reed. Reed. And you are? Emery. Emery. And this is Spencer. We have missed seeing everyone at Sunday school and at church. We hope everyone is having fun with their families at home. Can you see what I've written on this easel? I, you probably can't, but if I told you it says he is risen, would you believe me? Today's lesson is about Thomas, one of Jesus' disciples who did not believe the other disciples when they had told him that Jesus had risen. Our story comes from John chapter 20, verses 24 through 31, if you would like to follow along. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Through the door, though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples. But the, these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing, by believing you may have life in his name. Read. Do you know what it what it means to doubt someone or something? What does it mean? It means to not believe. That's right, to not believe. Thomas did not believe that Jesus had risen. He witnessed Jesus' arrest and death on the cross, but he could not believe what the other disciples were saying. He needed to see it for himself. Have you ever experienced a time when you doubted or did not believe something to be true? Once Thomas saw Jesus, he immediately knew who he was, and he did not need to see his hands. He proclaimed that Jesus was our Lord. I'm going to show you the easel again. And Reed and Emery, here you go, Emmy, have special faith binoculars, and they are going to try to read what it says. Reed and Emery, can you see what it says on the easel? What's it say? He is what? He is risen. He is risen, that's right. Our faith in Jesus helps us through so many things, especially right now. Sometimes we may doubt just like Thomas, but the special and amazing thing about Jesus is what, Reed? He knows us and he will meet us wherever we are and provide us with whatever we need so that we may believe. You too can make your own special faith binoculars, or use a pair you already have at home to play along, right? Writing messages and choosing to believe rather than doubt. All right, let's end with a prayer. Dear God, Dear God, thank you for our Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Savior, Jesus Christ. Please help us to believe in Him and have faith. And have faith. Thank you. Thank you. For all that you do. All that you do. And all that you give. And all of you give. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We pray. We pray. Amen. 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 Everyone have a great week. Everyone have a great week.